Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Lois wants to say good morning, too. <laughs> good morning! Good morning! <laughs> Hi! Lois and I got up and we looked and we thought, oh, it's pretty right now. So for those of you who are interested, should we tell them the details? Today is Friday, March 12th. Friday, March 12th. 19 degrees. 19 degrees. 6 a.m. Isn't that kind of fun? Friday, March 12th. Um, 19 degrees, 6 a.m. <laughs> Lois and I love the morning. And what we love even more is our prayer chain. <gasps> the prayer chain. I forgot to wear it today, but I have my little prayer chain right here for today. And it's the best. It is the best. <laughs> Next week, I'll probably say that one is the best because I am so loving the Lenten prayer chain. And if you haven't gotten one yet, call me right away or text me. 715-715-209-209-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100-1100
I don't know, an archaeologist. The tribal thought is, if you're different, then I have to rally the troops and close my tribe so I don't get hurt. Yeah, but that's way back when there were tribes and dinosaurs, right? We don't have to worry so much, really, we don't. So differences can be celebrated. It's okay to be afraid, stranger danger. That is okay. Yep, yep, that's very smart. But we don't take stranger danger too far. Give me an example, I'm confused. Let's say my neighbors are, um, they're Muslim and they wear head coverings all the time. Okay, so what about it? Um, that's a different religion and a different way to have head coverings. Yeah, but if you're talking about the neighbors I'm thinking of, they brought us some food. They brought us food once. Yes, that's very possible. And right, oh, are you telling me that just because people have a different religion or a different head covering, they could be really kind? Better believe it! Plus! Now, do you have something to tell me I don't know? Yes! You would think I knew everything about Lois, but she, she's telling me something. One time before I was with Pastor, I was somewhere else. Before you were with me, you were somewhere else. And I was lost and someone picked me up. I don't know, is this a true story or are you just teasing me? Well, okay, I know your point. Someone different sometimes might be the person who picks me up if I get, if I get, um, that's your point. If, if it was slippery roads and I fell in the ditch with my car and I got picked up by someone different from me, we'd be so happy and we'd say thank the good lord you didn't leave me in the ditch because i was different because if if there's a difference it goes both ways that the muslim might look at the christian and say well they're christians i don't know wow differences in religion or skin color or the way we pronounce words there's all these ways of being different tall short slim, wide, oh my goodness, um, athletic, not so athletic, um, fast readers, slow readers, lots and lots of differences, and God loves us all the same. Plus, plus someone was telling me, sometimes you could be an excellent, let's say craftsman or carpenter, just so great with the details, and then maybe have another skill we're not so good with. Absolutely so. The bottom line, the bottom line is Jesus loves us all. And the bigger bottom line is we need everybody. Now we're talking, now we're talking about the body of Christ has many members and the members are so varied. Is the hand the same as a foot? Oh, that was tough. Is the hand the same as a foot? Let me ask you. No, but I hope that we have both. We don't always have both. We need every body part though, don't we? We need each other. And let's say, because um, we, have, you and I have a friend that has only one leg. She needs others to help her, but then she helps us. She helps us with other things. So, oh, we just need the world. We need our neighbors. We need to love each other, right? <gasps> Pastor, you're going on and on. I know, I'm sorry. But once again, your prayer chain. Every day, read it. And it is so great. You'll go on and on too. Dear God, help me love my neighbors as I love myself. Thank you for the similarities we have and the differences we enjoy. Teach us to love, Lord as you have loved us, that the world might be a better neighborhood in which to live and share. Can I hear an amen to that? Amen, amen. Enjoy your Lenten prayer chain. Call me if you need one. And if you for have forgotten it for a few days, then have, have fun catching up. Okay, we love you very much. Love you so much. And um, remember to set your clocks back. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday, March 13th, clock.
o'clock spring ahead. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye.